Hi guys, yeah, welcome back to Vicky's Corner. So, who else noticed that Nello Keke's last video was boring? <laughs> okay, so now let's get to the reason why we're here. So, Nello is back from Zanzibar and you know she's trying to you know create one or two contents for us. And as it is, she herself just came to the screen Imagine combing her hair from the beginning of the video to the end. Being a big YouTuber is very good. And that is why we are all aspiring to become big YouTubers one day. Yes, even me myself, I want to be a big YouTuber someday. As you all know, Nello Keke is my favorite YouTuber. But if I want to fry her, I fry her the way I want. So now today, let me tell you why I said our last video was boring. Of course, I am not the one that said it. She's the one that said it by herself. Yes, our last video, if you watch the last video and you think the video was not really the vibes she has always been putting on, or you actually agree with her that the last video was kind of boring, put it on the comment section below. I personally did not see that video as that boring. You know why? Maybe it's because I like her and maybe because as I was watching, and I didn't even know that the video has ended because <laughs> it's Nello Keke for God's sake. It has always been herself, the usual way and so on. So she was combing her hair and talking to us and so on, brushing hair, trying to wear a wig and so on. And then at the end of the video, she said that if you and I have, you know, content ideas to give to her, we should please drop it on the comment section below because she's tired of the content she's creating because she knows that she feels that her content has been boring and she herself is bored of the kind of content she creates meaning that the contents are boring she too she's not seen it right so now the reason for this video is to tell you if you're a small or growing youtuber here that you're not the only one going through the same thing you know lack of creating content feeling so tired to come out here to talk to us feeling tired to vlog feeling tired to you know create any content you are not the only one on it don't think because you're a small youtuber that is why you are you know going out of content ideas not be only you even big youtubers are going out of content ideas if not nello keke with almost 100k subscribers is also going out of content ideas and she will come out here and actually tell us to give her content ideas and i'd be like auntie if i give you content ideas will it be interesting for me to watch because i'm coming to watch you because i feel you have something for me but if i tell you do like this do like this it will be summer and again for me a gist and reaction channel if i tell you okay, okay, to bring content ideas for me it go be what <laughs> you know now so i feel that i don't know what do you think about you know content creators we telling you people uh tell me what to do like i'll come and tell you now that you should tell me what i should bring to the table for you I know it's not wrong. I don't see it as wrong, but so many content creators do it. Like, oh, what do you want to see in my channel? What do you want from me? But sometimes I feel, should we ask? Like, do we, do, does our television stations normally ask us what they should put on TV? Do they? So I think uh, every content creator should go to their, you know, to their pool of content, choose content, look for content, and come out here. So as a small YouTuber, I am just here to tell you that you're not the only one on this journey, okay? Sometimes we look for content. Sometimes you feel like you don't want to film. Sometimes you feel like you want to give up. You don't have to give up. If my darling Nelo Keke that have all the vibes on the streets can be lots of content, like content became dry, pool of content became dry, it happens to everybody. And that is why some YouTubers, even some bigger YouTubers keep repeating content, repeating content that some of us get tired. You can't today do the same kind of content, do the same vlog where you are, you know, doing the same thing. Tomorrow again, you come back, you do the same thing. Tomorrow again, do the same thing. Ah, oh, come on, we are tired of that. Spice it up, girl. Spice it up, guy. You get. So I think we as small YouTubers also should learn in as much as I know that this whole thing, for somehow, let me even tell you why sometimes the drive to bring out content can be reduced because sometimes if you look into the whole thing you just see that oh as nello is she's a big youtuber sometimes views come 
sometimes views don't come right and then if she herself can be you know bored of her own content imagine those that are watching and then also we the smaller youtubers that don't even have the views imagine imagine the pain that you don't even have a content you manage to bring a content people will not watch it and again you will not even still have views and this thing can be so annoying and then some of you even spend money to make these contents okay so if you travel some of you before you do vlog you have to go out you have to go to eat trees to eat to show us and all that some of you maybe you are doing cooking channels some of you have to do you know buy things to cook and then maybe if you are if your challenge is about uh comedy imagine buy all, buying all the comedy kits and everything to keep up yourself to do comedy and all that changing ways and all that so you see i know it's very hard it's very very hard we are putting in the work but i believe i keep saying it take youtube as your shop take youtube as your business so you have to keep putting in the effort even if it's just 20 view you're having make sure that you appreciate those 20 persons that watch you don't say because oh it's 20 views so i will not reply comment if you carry that attitude of not replying comment now you become big you will see carry it like that that just the truth so learn to appreciate your subscribers learn to appreciate your viewers and don't be rude to your viewers don't be rude to your subscribers even though the views are not coming and again one thing is that don't say oh because oh this person um is doing better than me so therefore i i feel that oh i am worthless or so on. no you are not me i look up to bigger youtubers i know i want to be like them even though when they fuck up or i see something wrong in what they do i bring them out here and analyze it or sometimes just a gist that they talk about like what nello said today on a video i brought it out here and i talk about it but i don't look myself as inferior before big youtubers yeah that is why even if they fuck up or they mess up i can actually treat the fuck up okay but i wish that one day too i'll grow big right so always believe that one day you'll be big don't be inferior don't look down on yourself and also do not look down on those that are coming up you see those ones that are just coming up that are trying to support you don't look down on them because even them even them are your very 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 big supporters so guys if you are watching this video to this point i have not given this video a thumbs up please do well to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so guys bye